Wanna bring your microphone up? <laughs> this cord gonna bug me. We just gonna pray about it. Oh, it's too tall. Yeah. I'm gonna be a giant one day. Like that. Okay, hey. Hater, don't hate. It's you. You're a hater. Hater, royalist. A hater? <laughs> now, what you gonna do when I get this knee surgery? <laughs> I don't want to hear no nothing <laughs> when I'm coming in here fast seven on y'all asses. Yeah. I don't want to hear shit. Antoinette. Hey, Booski. Hi. How you doing? I'm all right. How about yourself? Uh-huh. Yes. What is with you? That's a lot. That's what you, what you mean, like my composition, like what, you, like, like what we, I came with, like what we, you talking about right now? Week two of being back and you don't waste no time. You was going straight for the shot. Like, did we have a tough day or something? I just feel like I know why I'm here. And according to the astrology girls on uh, Instagram and TikTok, this month's full moon is telling you to release your inhibitions, feel the rain on your, your skin. skin. Okay, and so that means you're supposed to let go of your fear. So don't be scared to take these shots immediately. Okay. That's what I got from it. All right, man. Well, get your shots ready. Bottoms up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here they be sometimes be a little scared of how quickly you do things. I sure like. miss my tequilas. Sip my tequilas. Why don't we have it? Because I ain't buy it. <laughs> or you ain't buy like, it. We need a snake bite. We started the season feeling. We ain't feeling. need a snake bite and nothing. Y'all, it's just been whiskey in these shots last week and today. I'm happy about it. Of course she is. Joyful. I'm, I'm like, I, I can taste the difference. I would hope you could taste I, the difference. Taste if difference. you can't taste the difference between tequilas and whiskey. No, meaning like it's the shot is missing. Oh, I was like, because that's a, who, who child? Ooh, what if you can do that? Who was I talking to? Somebody was like they knew a person who they can't taste liquor. Like it has no like all liquor just tastes like it's something there. Like nothing tastes different. So it don't matter what you get them. I don't believe that. They tested it. And I was like, that's crazy. How often does this person drink liquor? I don't know. I think a person don't who don't them. drink liquor, all liquor tastes the same. But, like, if you're a person who kind of dibby dab, you'd be like, oh, no, I can tell that's a tequila. I can tell that's a gin. I can tell that's no, a. No, because there's people who drink every I mean, yeah, you can tell the difference between the liquors. But there's people who drink every day, and, like, if you're a tequila drinker, you can't tell the difference. Well, that, between yes. The like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I know that's Don Julio, and I know that's Casamigos. Like, I'm not. Be lying, bro. Be lying. Okay, okay. okay. I, just, I go off of feeling, right? And I'm, saying, I'm, like, whoa, I'm like, the whoa. last time I had that, it didn't go well, so we don't drink that no more. Let me back this up. What's in that? Mm. Yeah. Talk to yourself. But you know what I will say? I think this um this has done mm -hmm. has made me appreciate more. Mm -hmm. Like something I used to be like, I'm not drinking that. Because I felt like I didn't drink gin for many years. And we started doing this show and some of my favorite drinks have been gin drinks. I definitely, I did not drink gin. It just was not my choice of I'm finna go get No, this. I was like, no more gin. Um, I have a homegirl, like she used to always drink. Like she made the best gin and tonics. Okay. Um, so I would, I didn't hate gin. I was just like, it has to be mixed with something perfectly though. Like you can't just come nah, in and be I like, th let me get a shot of gin. I think the What's apple on? seagrams from way Ooh. back when had ruined me at some point. And I just Ooh. grew up the, 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 the tanga rays. Um, little tanga ray never heard about Child. Little, little tangerine so, up there, nothing about it. Let me tell you why a little tangerine didn't hurt a little bit. It is a hood classic. So I feel like when you're in a green bottle or something, it's just something about that. But, <laughs> no, it's because, okay, I know she ain't never going to watch this, but I'm pretty sure you know now. Uh, my friend's mother, right, we used to kiki down at her house in the basement. Mm. And she used to have those little miniature bottles. Little Ooh. airplane bottles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right across the bit, across the bar, right? Mm. Like, I was talking about perfectly in line. And uh, and I say she's not going to watch. I mean the mother. I'm scared. The friend probably watched. The mother. Here snitching on everybody. <laughs> and we, like a shoe cake. She used to love her some Cavarcier. That's the Cavarcier. And it was like Tangeray. And we knew we couldn't drink the Cavarcier because she was going to be like, who drank my Cavarcier? But the Tangeray. What a time. We <laughs> was like, we can't, we can't we sneak a little. And 
so we would like take the little miniatures and this is just the ghetto part one you know how you open up it, you crack the seal so the seal cracked um and y'all was like they're not gonna know dead ass because we was young and dumb and we would take the tangare and after we took a drink we would put it back we wouldn't even drink the whole thing we would drink like half of them and fill it, up and fill it back up with water and i said them because it was because we <laughs> <laughs> I feel and like she would come downstairs and be like, these suckers. Look at that. What is going She had on? to have, no, we used to key key in her basement. She had to I have, no. really tell Shout out to you. And I'm not going to tell on myself <laughs> on this public platform about my one time I had a business idea. Uh-huh. So this is why I'm not going to tell on myself. In high school, for my business class, um, our end of year and like 50% of our grade is we actually had to make a business plan. Shout out to Mr. Goldwyn. Okay, great. We really had to do like full business plan, financials. Um, one of my homies I was in high school with, he was like, we just paying him to do the financials. I hope you are doing, very I, well. no, I actually know you are doing amazing. Um, cause I'm talking about, he was running numbers for everybody's business. Didn't matter okay. what kind, just running it up. Okay. I was like, here you go. What you need for this? Um, but you could bring like a real business plan. So, you know, if you do a business plan, you can bring samples. Okay. What was your business now? I was going to have a smoothie bar. Okay. Uh huh. But I was planning ahead for my future. So I was like, if it's a smoothie bar, that means like after five, it's going to be like an actual bar. A so, that, bar. That, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so I had brought samples. What grade was we in? This was this my senior year? No, oh, well, that's okay. But the crazy thing is, like, it wasn't even for me because I was not crazy. I was not drinking at the time. I think I had one drink in my life at that time. Mm. Um, this was because I was like, it was like end of year. Like, we we're all doing our business presentations. Turn up. But it was not in his class. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not do that. Wouldn't do no such a um, thing. But that was the one time of, like, dipping into my mama cabinet and being like, you Your probably got a good cabinet. She got good good. cabinet. The one she got now ain't even, when I was growing up, I'm like, Mom, you don't even drink like this. <laughs> like, who, this it was purely for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Like, she would have, my mama was Maduri Sour Girl. Oh, Still okay. Is. Like, she's a Maduri girl, which okay. is why I know Maduri. Maduri, yeah. Um, but she would always have all the different Malibus and rums and all of that. I'm like, you ain't never going to drink this until my aunts come over. Anyway, nah, no, my dad used to make the rum punch, and it would be bottles just sitting across the bar. Because in your family. You ain't have my family's rum punch. Somebody party, I think. Or maybe I just had rum with your family and that was it. <laughs> to me, that like, was, it didn't need to be punch. Ma'am? Let's bring it back. Because let's be honest, past. nobody has made rum punch like that in many of years. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you my dad used to make them and they will sit for however amount of time they need to sit. Permits. And, yes. And they would be like Christmas gifts. And he would pass like every because we all get together for That's Christmas. It is. He would give them to all the like aunts and uncles and stuff. And then he would ship some to Jamaica. I don't know why you ship them to Jamaica. I know they know how to make it there, but that ain't but my I mean, business. You know how to make this like this. You right. He must your have been. Your specialty there. is your specialty. That's okay. true. We ain't talking about drinks, and we ain't talked about this. We ain't talking about this. What this? So what's gonna happen is, well, I don't know. When we drink it, we are gonna okay. figure out a name for okay. it. But all right, what's in there? So it is some ginger puree. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Then it's um two ounces of that Bacardi Black. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Uh huh. It's um a half of ounce of the blue. Yeah, yeah, the blue carousel. Thank you. Well, mm-hmm. I had it in my head. I just didn't want to embarrass myself and say it out loud. I, I had think it. I like how you say it. I don't remember how I said it the other time. <laughs> I think I say it different every time. You do. It tickles me every time. I'll be waiting. Carousel. Mm-hmm. And then two ounces of pineapple juice. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then a couple of dashes of peach bitters. And then I put some ice in there. So, oh, and a half a lime. Oh, half okay. A lime. Um, and then it's I put some ice me. in it. It is. It is. Right. Um, put some ice, swirled it around, and then we got this. Yes. Whatever. I feel is. like I kind of got a name in my head, oh, but okay. I want to taste it first. All right. Cheers. Make it a drink. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't going to. I think this is what I envisioned this was supposed to taste like. I'm on vacation. I'm immediately on vacation. It, no, it definitely tastes like a vacation. You don't have to, I'm on a beach. It's, it's giving tropical breeze. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We got a straw or something because it's gonna be all night. <laughs> gonna be. I, I was gonna say it looked mermaidy. Oh, I like mermaid. It looks mermaidy too. I me. like mermaid. So you gonna get a little tropical mermaid? Tropical mermaid. Like you say, Oh. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Lakeshore Shout- Drive. Lakeshore Drive. Shout out Shout to out to- yes. Thanks. Shout out to. Mm-hmm. Is it? Is it the look? It's the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's a damn shame. <laughs> that damn. So she don't eat drink. She don't. But this should not be what the lake looks like. It should not. It should be nobody water out here. But it do. We gonna blame it on the actually. River. The straw really made me get all of it. Yes, because that yeah. ginger just came right. Yep. On. Oh, that's actually amazing. Come on, hey. Come on in my room. You know what's so funny? You start singing that. Why did you just sing that? Just yeah, I have rent. That's something to live rent for. Okay, no, because every time Funky Dineva start his laugh, that's what he start with. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Funky Dineva, okay, I know you had was excited. I was. You had was excited because Amanda Seals was supposed to go on Funky Dineva's show and do like a Lester and talk. It was an interviewy type you of know, thing. You know, and I was had not so did it. Cool. She canceled. What happened? She has. You was real excited. Like, I, was like, so for one, like y'all been watching the show. I like Amanda Seals. Mm-hmm. I am a fan. Shout out to Amanda. 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 Listen, we know that's not your theme song, but we gonna give it to you. <laughs> I like Amanda Seals, and I love Funky Dineva. Mm-hmm. And I think as crazy, wild, ghetto, ratchet, mm-hmm. he can be. It's just as intellectual, straightforward. Like he give you a good balance yeah. of both. And I know that Amanda Seals is the intellectual type. So I'm like, they can have a very good conversation. And I also know that Amanda Seals can crack a joke. She can be a fun girl. So yeah. I was like, I wanted to see that dynamic in the interview. I was like, I think they're going to talk about some good stuff. They're going to crack some jokes. Maybe he can, and not in like a, a, a bad way, but I think they can press each other's thoughts in a good way without being disrespectful or anything yeah. like that. And so I was genuinely looking forward to it. I'm talking about, I don't never, no shade funky because I love you. I never watch it live. I always watch it the following day. I watch it on my ride to work. That's fair. So... I was like, I've tuned in. Do you hear me? I'm talking about 6.58 because he go live at 7. I was in there. I'll let you give me the update for that one. I, I was, was really in like, there. In for that and update. then right before I went into the live, I saw that Amanda, I don't know if she went live or she just posted something. Probably like 20 minutes before that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't go see it. I'm like, maybe she's telling her people like, hey, I'm going to hop on the fucking Dineva show. You know, whatever, whatever. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. And I'm just looking forward to it. And I'm the iPad up. And me on the couch like in my iPad. That's you were serious. You were serious. <laughs> I needed my phone for other stuff, so Ooh. my iPad had to be up. And I was ready. And then we get in there, and then somebody in the comments was like, "Hey, your man, a can." So I said, Pfft. "So the other day was being funny." <laughs> <laughs> That's thought, a real attitude. I thought they were just trying to be petty, you know, yeah. like because and I'm like, "Nah, she ain't gonna can. She, nah." And so then Funky came on the line. And he was like, "Y'all might have heard that she did announce she canceled." So she was saying, based off like the volatile comments that she had read I guess and like his lives and things like that she just didn't feel like it was going to be a safe space for her and I respect that and I, I really see why I don't really respect that okay. normally I would mm-hmm. it's not a live studio audience babe so it would be different if you felt like he was just a let's see he fucking goes by here yeah yeah okay I'm just making sure because I know um it would be different if he allowed like on a live show, people to be like, I'm going to put you in. Yeah. And then you could talk crazy. Yeah. Baby, you ain't got to look at them comments. That part. You are doing an interview with me. So unless I said something hostile or unless I was like, yeah, I can't I, wait. I'm seeing y'all comments because I'm going to ask them. Like, unless yeah. I'm really giving you energy. Because that has happened before. Like, people give energy. We're like, I know I'm going to come in and you own something with me. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like I got that from Funky this time. And I, you know, I'm it, I'm not a super yay or super nay on Funky. I'm just like, you are, you are good yeah. at what you do and you speak whatever perspective you want to. Um, I don't feel like he gave that energy that either. it was finna he be. Was, the only thing that I felt like that he said prior to was just like, not that he was nervous, it's just being like, I know that she stands ten toes down, like her like her demeanor is. He was like, and I'm kind of the same way. I hope we don't yeah. tussle. That's what he was saying. He was like, I hope we don't like bump heads. But I would have respected come. that. Like for her, I feel like that's probably your safest space. Yeah. Because I don't think Funky would have just let you talk and say something without thinking twice about mm-hmm. what you like truthfully, I feel like Shannon on her interview with Shannon Sharp, shout out to Shannon Sharp, okay, what's up though? Um, I feel like he kinda lets you talk. 
around. That's because he ain't a good interviewer. My <laughs> point though, because then you like you catch yourself up. And I'm entertained with Club Shay Shay because Absolutely. the people for whatever reason come on that man's show and feel like they can just talk well, off the handle. Part of it is because he don't give you no press. Mm-hmm. Listen, that's, that's the benefit of having a. I don't think he's a bad interviewer. I think he interviews with the purpose of you just having a space to talk your shit. I don't think he's there as like a, I'm trying to get the tough truths and challenge you and correct you or check. No, when I he's say not he's checking when you. I say he's not a good interviewer, it's because he don't actively listen. I think he don't actively prep. That's what makes him not that, a good. Interviewer. I think he prep a little bit. He, just Girl, they give him cars and he'd be like, "Oh, that's on there." <laughs> every interview, so he'd be like, "Oh, that." Oh, I only good. said it because every interview I watch, they would like literally would be like, "Hey, yeah, so the the sky is green." And he he had let them tell, and they'd be like, "So yeah, you were just saying how the sky was pink," and you'd be like, "Sir, I literally." But it's and like, he's done that several times. I think that's just like it's like talking to your uncle, who like <laughs> that's what makes it a safe space, and like why people, no matter how many times he does that, people still don't want to come back and talk to him because like that's the safe space. Like I know you're not out here trying to. I think he's, so, it's not he's not listening. He's just like I'm not t- like I'm not tuning in on these very specific things. Let that me are retract my people. statement. I don't think he's a terrible interviewer. He just don't ask the question. I just don't think he pays attention, and maybe he's thinking ahead. So like he mm-hmm. asks a question, and then he's giving you time to answer. He's already moved on to like what his next question is, and then a you either sometimes don't think to ask a question about like. This person could have said something, and there was a good point in there that you could have followed up on, and you don't. That's not what he there for. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think people want him to be there for something that he not. I think you're going to get that from people like Funky. You're going to get that from people who, like, even if we do interviews, like, we're going to ask specific. We're going to do follow-up. I don't think, his, I really think he, like, come talk to your old uncle. We sitting at the barbecue grill. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, that was a good point you made, nephew. Now, what? Explain that a little bit more. I don't give a fuck. That's not what we here for. That's not the conversation. <laughs> okay. That's not how, like, he is, his interview style is very, your family conversational. Like, we not finna get into these details. I'm gonna be like, what's going on in your life? You gonna tell me some stuff? I'm gonna be like, oh, hey, hey, hey. And then if it's really somewhere, I'm gonna be like, well, how you feeling about life? Now that all of that has happened. Like, he hears you. It just be like I'm not the stuff that we want people to zoom in on. He not there for that. Yeah, he there for. I like, watch. I go, go to somebody else interview after this one <laughs> to go. So I can. watch the interviews because, like I said, for some reason it's a therapy session for people. Mm. And I'm like, if you going if you gonna talk, I'm gonna listen, honey. I'm gonna listen. He give you a little. I'm gonna listen. So what I I hope if her if her um, hesitation came from the comments, then I will hope they did a pre recorded interview, like a pre recorded interview. And then premiere it. So that way you can be, like, he could be live in the comments. I don't think she is going to do an interview with, with him. Ch- I think she is, there's no shade, because I love her. I feel like her comfort with opening up to Shannon is what she said. Like, you are very, not, not intentionally, but, like, you are very protective of you and yourself. And how people have portrayed you. Right? So you came into the, she came into the interview with Shannon very much like, hey, <laughs> she did. Right, and then afterwards, being like, "You, this is a safe space. It's a safe space because you're not asking me them questions. That's what makes it a safe space, and nobody wants to acknowledge that. That's why I say, because you're not finna press me. You're not finna be like, what you mean by like? Okay, so I don't and think I do she's feel, gonna do interviews do where she knows Funky like, gonna be like. I do feel like you Funky. said. <laughs> well, I don't think he would have came with the rah rah. But, but I just in a real sense, you're gonna ask me. I do think he would ask the tougher questions. I give you that. Funky gonna be like, well, why you ain't self reflect? <laughs> yeah, and be like. Yeah. I did self-reflect. I still landed on the same answer. And so what did you No, but I think if you go back and listen to what you said, I don't want to keep talking about that. I just said what I said already. Hmm. Let me say what I said and move on. So I don't know. I just don't. I just know. I was... She could go to Auntie Tabitha. Okay. I feel like Auntie Tabitha would say it in a very, like, beautiful kind of, mm-hmm. yeah. But that's your business. And then keep it moving. She's going to go on uh, Very Good Mondays and do that with her. We know everybody's podcast. That's not for us. <laughs> okay. I didn't know the name of Tabitha. I'm sorry. I only know the one because they have a song in the Behind Chats, and I like singing the song. Okay. You know I like a good song. Okay. Speaking of random things, it's prom season. Mm-hmm. Y'all ghetto. Mm. I'm going to say it. Mm. I don't care. Mm. I don't care. This whole generation is ghetto and stupid and wasteful, and y'all parents are stupid. Because why is you paying for a casting? A who? A casket. Why the freak front hug would you pay for a casket? One more time. Freak front hug. Okay. Would you pay for a casket for your child to pop up for they, prom? They ain't want to get no plastic? Casket's right. They got some plastic. That's cheap. Rip me out the plastic. Oh, that was last season. That's two seasons ago. 
But like casket sharp. I it literally I don't like it. We just wasting money. I don't like it. You know what? Somebody on my Facebook asked the question talking about realistically, like no shade. How much are y'all paying for y'all kids' proms, right? And I, out of the pure nosiness of me, was like, let's go scroll the comments. And then he put a description. He was like, picture it. It's 2000. <laughs> and he was like, I went to, I went and got my suit from here. I, um, when I he said he got his suit from wherever. He pulled up uh, in like, uh, like whatever little beat up, like a little car, you know. And it was like easy, easy peasy, right? Listen, and maybe I, that might be what you spent the most money on is renting your car. Yeah. And he was like, all in all, it was probably a total of this, right? And I'm like, okay, yeah. These people in these comments. They got dancers. They got production, honey. They be hired, like, what are we doing here? And like, okay, I get it. It's a new generation, right? So like. Not trying to be judged. No, I am. Because okay. I understand the new generation. I understand black bougie. Because that's a different price tag, okay? Black bougie is a different price tag. I'm not even talking about that. I'm not talking about the extent of your bougie. I'm talking about you as paying for caskets for prom. And stallions. And st- what are we, where are we going? Where are we going? And then, because I don't And it's really my... for the picture. Because you're not going up to prom in that, in, in at you're home. literally at home or whatever venue decided just, to rent out. I'm sorry, hear me out that I don't want <clears throat> random caskets at my house. There's enough death in the world. Why do I need to prepare you to lay in a casket? That sounds stupid to me. Prepare you for life is what I would like. Chaos. But then, okay, so, you know, Miami. Miami had a good one. Let me tell you. Because one of the schools is Miami Northwestern. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure what school, I, if we talk about the same one school. Of the but one of the schools is Miami Northwestern. Northwestern. Been there. Done great. It. They always, like, them kids do be showing out. I'm going to still say the amount of money that I know parents have spent on them proms versus the amount of money that you should not have spent on them proms. <laughs> I don't understand. When are we teaching fiscal responsibility? When are we doing that? Y'all need to offer that as a class no more, huh? And you, you're not going to learn it in life. Yeah. You're not going to learn it. Because here's my problem with prom season. You have cities like Miami where, like, eighth grade prom is just as serious as high school prom. So I remember, like, my eighth graders, like, red carpet style, stepping out, rented Maseratis. Baby, they can't drive. They can't Why drive. And this, this is dumb. I really okay. be trying to figure out who is letting these people rent these cars around prom season when you know the children going to drive it. The skims. Insurance, baby. Pay that $50 for that insurance so I can go ahead and get that claim. It's okay. I'm I'm just going to be honest about it. That's a good hustle. I'm not mm-hmm. mad at them for renting it. That's on the parents and their financial responsibility. I'm mad at you. You are in high school. Why did you? Why did this just cost me $7,000? And I don't have $7,000. People be why paying all that? year for that. There's... Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. No, uh-uh, baby. It don't work. But no. what I, I'm not sure what school it was, but the school in Florida, Miami, I think, had the Disney theme, and that was so they were fly. beautiful. They be fly. They I just mean the people. so cute. You can be fly. And I was thinking, at, like, drop the person who custom made these dresses. Yeah, leave it at somebody custom making dresses. And you know, like, my family is in fashion mm-hmm. and retail, so I also have horror stories. <laughs> Stop trying to return y'all shit. Don't do that. If you're going to spend all this money... This is why I have a problem with it because you go all out, you spend you spend nine hundred dollars, now you're trying to return it. That part. Go on, go on, go on, go on find embarrass you. Okay. Because also, what you gonna do with this after you can't Y'all don't even host balls. You can't wear you Y'all know? don't put y'all kids in like debutante classes. Imagine you spend all this money at least into the babies into some debutante classes. Start an organization where at least at 21, they could be like, I'm coming out. We're going to have a, a little party or something. Y'all just out here ghetto. And this ghetto not because y'all look ghetto, because y'all be looking fly. It's ghetto because you just spent $900 that you know you finna return and you could have went and rented something from Men's Warehouse. Yes. You ain't have to You ain't have to do this. And people be getting y'all for their money. I remember one prime. Ooh, baby, I felt so bad for her. That girl spent her good hard money. She was working. Cashing out. Lady never showed up with her dress. I'm on your head. Never showed up with her dates like jacket because they had made the, the custom jacket to go with her dress. She ended up not going to prom. She had nothing to wear. 
Oh, that's a village emergency. We're going to have to ride. We're going to have to figure it out. Everybody, we was all there trying to figure it out. Like, her hair was done. Her face was beat. And nothing. And Maybe girl, you just finna get this uh, apple bottom jean. Jean, listen. Boots. Well, you finna cut. You gonna be the cutest in this, in this jean outfit that you want in. You that want party. You finna throw ass anyway. Let's be honest about it. I don't know. But I, I'd have been pissed. And that deserves a shot. It deserves a shot. All right. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Get your shots. Pass them around, too. Yeah, my brother's always gonna get the first. Mm-hmm. 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 You're supposed to cook after this. Mm-hmm. Y'all, she'll, she'll be cooking. She do all of that for me. I do. I love it for me. It's nice. You know, friend, you getting a little lazy. Ha! <laughs> Because uh, you used to cook, and I don't know what happened. It's Where is my me. pot roast? It's above me. Where is my gumbo? Ain't the work of the Where is my steak with the red wine? Red, red wine. You want me to order some red wine? I can see why you made that. Red wine. I just don't know why I need to cook if y'all out here cooking on a regular basis. Cause we take time. We should be taking turns. I had to get y'all on. Y'all do take turns. I had to get on shady butt too. We, 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 we. <laughs> CC. I don't yes, know. Yes. We. Shit. Mm mm. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. What's up? We cannot. What we can't. Not talk about. What can we talk about? Take that. Take that. Diddy. First of all, to all y'all crazy motherfuckers, okay, mm. who are sitting up here for the longest, like, he ain't do that. She just wanted money. Y'all stupid. Like, this is my theme of the day. Stupid, because y'all stupid. How y'all gonna gas, guy get gas lit by the guy? I'm gonna keep telling y'all we knew he did it when he made them run across the Brooklyn Bridge to a restaurant he knew was closed. Why do y'all act like this man was saying? <laughs> Why? How? How did we get sanity from that? It was the moment of seeing that video. Mm. And I was looking at my phone. You were sitting there. Brent was in your ear. Shady, Shady was in your ear. And uh, it was me. <gasps> right? Oh, oh, my God. Is this real? Oh, my God. Is this I'm real? Like, saw it earlier. Just watched it. And then I just showed you. And you like, oh, my God. Is this real? And then Shady came in two seconds later. Hey, y'all, did y'all see this video? And then, and then and right after that, the group chat, the dudes, the was dudes like, in the group chat was like, hey, yo. And I'm like, that's What's wrong with you. That went like wildfire. Like, it it was quick. Here's the crazy thing, though. I remember watching it and being like, for everybody who kept saying, why didn't she just leave? And I'm like, in this moment, for certain, he was either in the shower or asleep, and she tried to make her exit mm-hmm. and escape. And do you know how psychotic you gotta be to sense that somebody's trying to leave you? My man woke up like, hold on. They're <laughs> changing the room. Like, real talk, it's, it's you're crazy. It's giving movie. And okay, call it Congress. Meaning, like, I pictured that scene, like him passed out. Yeah. And she slid from underneath his arm, type of thing. Yeah. And tried to collect her shit and get the fuck up out of there. And he woke up, like, as soon as the door closed, his eyes it's, opened. It's, like, and he was like, what? It's what? giving enough. <laughs> that when she put that water bottle in the toilet, listen and tried to listen, Cassie. We would. I I I. She told y'all, and then it's all of the new. So have you seen like all of the new reports of people coming out and being like, yeah, we knew when we keep asking like, how ain't nobody saying nothing? And people are like, yeah, we seen him do it to Kim. One of the bodyguards came out and was like, we saw him do it to Kim and Cassie and, like, three other girls. Girl, okay. Shaka Khan daughter. Shaka Khan daughter. Bro, that sent me. Yeah. I was like, you a crazy motherfucker to, to come at Shaka aunties. Khan. Come on. And the, to be clear, the drunken aunties, <laughs> Shaka B didn't cut you. That's Shaka Khan, baby. She beat in <laughs> real quick. Don't play with red hair, sister. Did, but did you like read the whole thing? And the sister was like, he had his bodyguard, like he had her brother jump. Oh, I didn't see that part. Yeah. So apparently, allegedly, we believe it. Um, at some wherever they were at, he was like getting in Shaka's face, mm-hmm. and the brother was like, "I don't give a fuck who you are. You're not gonna disrespect my mom." Absolutely. Period. It could be whatever. Send it up. <laughs> okay, I respect it. Ten toes. Love to see it. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
and was not scared of Diddy at all. Like, fuck you, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, and Diddy was so threatened because, of course, you're always so threatened when it's a man because you fuck ass niggas. Um, and had the brother jump. Mm-hmm. Like, had his security come jump on the brother. Why you couldn't fight him dead up, bitch? Why you couldn't? Because J. Cole beat your ass one time and you wasn't ready for him. Why would I do why I can pay somebody to handle my life? Because be, be ten toes down in it. Never forget. This is why we love you. Everybody want to know why we love J. Cole. Because J. Cole slapped the shit out of me. Unapologetically. We love that for him. For the culture. Shout out to J. Cole. Allegedly. We gonna just say it's true. Everything's alleged. Allegedly. But that nigga ain't been in the process. You're crazy, bruh. And then he apologized. Now he on the no. apology tour no. from Bali with Russell No. Simmons. Let me tell you what really bugged me about this apology. Who you apologizing to? Because it wasn't her. And afterwards, they, they said, yes, I, I get that. But there's other ways that you could have referenced. Because you did, you're not remorseful for what you did to her. You could have said, I'm sorry that I lied to y'all and told y'all I didn't do it. You, bruh. You ain't even say that. You ain't even say that. Bruh. You, you was like, people trying to bring me down, down making to- other lies for money. You was ten toes down and you was never going to get caught. You got caught. You got caught. I'm and sorry, I was come. in a dark place in my life. Nigga, you been in hell for a long, long time. That I don't give a damn about you being in a dark place. That part. You never, you never was like, I was wrong for what I did to that young lady. You ain't had to say her that name. That said, I sought help from the professional. I went to rehab. You went to rehab for beat for domestic? Do they have that? I, I don't know. They, they should. They should, they but should. I ain't never should. heard it. I ain't never heard it. That is wild. You went to rehab? Who you talk to? You went to Bali with Russell Simmons, because that's where the fuck you recorded from. Y'all two crazy-ass motherfuckers who should be in jail, living in a beach house with each other. Okay. Don't you think never apologized to her. You did not apologize for your actions. What you did was make excuses for it. And you then you say I'm sorry to all of the people who were aware of or witnessed the situation and what that. Who you think you are? I got too much of a conscience, so I don't think I can do crisis management. But goddamn, I can write for you because it's a mess. What? It's a mess. I was in a dark space in my life. I just hope y'all understand. Bitch, we don't understand. We don't understand that. We don't understand that. We don't understand that. We don't. We understand. You didn't even want to get ahead of it before the. I, I guess because you had them videos locked up somewhere and you wasn't sure but once they raided your shit and you came back and saw that them videos was gone, you should have known. Can we talk about the craziness of you saving the videos? Because why did you spend allegedly 50K to get the video and keep it? Did you watch it again? You're a psychotic. I believe Were you you're watching a these videos again? Yeah, I believe you're a psychopath. I believe that you were either watching them or you kept them like trophies, like how serial killers yes. do. Yes. Got name, time, date. I day. believe oh. that you probably like kept them to torture your victims with. In case, because I consistently say every time stupid people be like, why didn't you just leave? You have no idea what it's like to have your person threatened, your mm-hmm. family threatened, to know somebody. It takes one time for somebody to enact on that to make you be like, I don't want to try this again. Yeah. Like, how many times you trying to get kicked in the head and punched in the face before you believe that, like, this person is serious. They will take my life. Yes. And then you have to wait between, is it better to be alive and in a fucked up situation or not be here? So, shout out to all the survivors who be like, it's better to be here because you can easily say the other option. Why are people not muting Diddy, though? Why are we not muting Diddy? Why are we not finding Diddy? Why are there still people on the internet trying to be like, I mean, everybody has a bad day. Baby, don't have that kind of bad day to me. You won't have another day to speak they about. They was together for 10 years. You won't have another day to speak about. Don't have a bad day with me. That ain't the that ain't that a bad ain't day. The, yeah. <laughs> that ain't a bad That's day. your last day. That's, <laughs> let's not play this you, game. You wrote a note, and I'm, I'm helping you read it out loud. That ain't a bad day. <laughs> that ain't a bad day. Don't do that. Please. No. And I just... I wonder if there is some level of vindication for Cassie and other victims of being like motherfuckers. Here's my thing, too. Why would y'all think she was doing all this? I wouldn't even want to relive this shit. That know. sounds crazy to me. I'm not, I'm, I have finally left this man. I am married. I have a kid or two, I think. Um, mm-hmm. I've moved on. 
why would I bring this back up for the fun of it? Or just because I like, know we ain't that broke, baby. Why would I make this up and drag myself we, through some stuff? That don't even make broke. sense. We're not that broke. Me and my man is not that broke. I can always go on me and you tour. I can that do a tour. Song. That one. <laughs> I can go do a club. I mean, she can still model. She's still a baddie. She's still a baddie. She can model and has. Her husband got modeling contracts. She can go. Listen, we ain't that broke. We not that broke when we need this money. It's the season of trying women. Because why they been trying Kelly? Who tries Calandria? What's wrong with y'all? Don't nobody try. Why would you try Calandria? So sweet. It's Calandria. So sweet. It's Kelly, a.k.a. the full soprano section of the Mississippi Mass Choir. <laughs> Why would you try her? You want to go to the up? I don't know what that lady said to her, but that Kelly went full mama. It was the finger for me. <laughs> Cause okay, if, that's if she that's was a girl. Let me tell you how it was, it was, it was classy. Because she went here with it, like, no. And Compared so to being like this, because that would have been me. Who was you talking talkin to? I'll tell you one more time. Kelly said, listen, I told you don't touch me, and you seem to not understand. Then they was like, oh, Kelly went off. Kelly said, I didn't go off. Kelly said, I said what I said, okay? I told her several times to stop doing what she was doing, and she continued to do it, so I addressed her accordingly. And, and don't make that lady again. Like, and that lady stepped on her dress, and I'm sure it wasn't on purpose, it was an accident. But imagine you stepped and she fell or some shit. But, but she it was also, two feet. I don't think it was just she was stepping on her dress. She was physically, like, no, touching her. her. Yeah, yeah like, like that. But I'm saying, and then you, and you stepped and on her you dress. And her dress. And Kelly said she was like, there were a lot of other people there. That don't look like me. That you were not doing this with. So I think what it was was the lady, what it seemed like to me, to me, me, to you, seemed like the lady kept trying to move her. It did. Like, you kept trying to move her, and she kept being like, first of all, child, I'm a child of destiny. And what you not going it's to do. It's going to be your destiny to get these hands, baby. You touch me one more time. <laughs> one more time. It's I'll, up. Okay. It's, we're up. My sis and brother and like, do you know who I am? <laughs> Michelle going to pray for you. Okay. <laughs> B going to call the shooters that she don't got, but she got. Okay. Julius. <laughs> Julius. <laughs> Go get my sister. Okay. Jay gonna be like, huh? And then all of a sudden, like, what's the laugh? What's the laugh? It's, it's Jay-Z. Like, that's what's happening. Solange gonna be like, bitch, I'll catch you. Like, don't right, play right. with Solange. Like, I'm gonna catch you. I'm not even gonna tell you when or where. But it's... Speaking of Solange, you see her son? His adult ass. He, where you get that He's sick? He's a good man. We senior citizens. I was like, my lord. What sent me, okay, it ain't even Solange's son being old. You remember the meme or gif with the little boy dancing on the chair when they was like the whole school going to Black Panther? Uh, he graduated from high school today. Uh, mm hmm. Graduated from high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where that old. Oh, wow. Millennials are in a crisis, people. <laughs> We're in a fucking crisis. I need y'all to understand. Nothing in the world is like we planned it. Children are old. Wow. We're still young, but somehow, like, not at retirement, but retirement needs to happen. I just remember something. I get crazy. I, I get crazy. I you get told crazy. me to remind you. Ooh, what did I tell you to remind If you? I ever seen Laverne. Laverne and Shirley. Now, I don't know where she was going with that, but she asked me earlier, and she told me to remind her. Okay. First of all, Laverne and Shirley is one of the greatest shows ever made. Thank you. Now. What are, like, your old school, like, there are parents and grandparents shows that you grew up watching. Like, Laverne and Shirley, for sure, for me. Big Van Dyke show. Golden Girls? I was saying Golden Girls. Okay. I just watched for the first Ma? time. Ma. Okay. okay. I just seen that for the first time. The way I was sitting there, like, what is this? With my mama. Big but Mama's house. Big Mama's it's house. It's one of my, oh, my greatest comedic. Okay, shout out Carol Burnett. Yes, shout out because one of the greatest comedic uh, timing and like uh, improvs, love it. Mm. All in the family. All in the family. Wait, Archie Bunker mm-hmm. before. Yeah. That's where we got the Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised about it, but I guess if you never watched what it, what you see in production? In the heat of the night. In the heat of the night. Of the of the night. night. Okay, that. That is the one that I love the show, but thinking of the intro, I get nightmares. I don't remember actually watching it in the heat of the night. Though. It's good. It's Archie Bunker. 
Oh, you're right. I did see an uh, episode or two. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, little known facts, he specifically wanted the role of Archie Bunker to contrast mm-hmm. and be like, this is how ridiculous and insane y'all white people are. As a white man in that day and age. Brava. Okay, brava. You invited every time. Yo, well, what's your lineage acting like now? They might have got an invite, but I don't know how they uh, acting. Who was it? I was trying to think of the name of the show. Mm. And I know my mama put me on, but like I watched it more than her. And it's the show. Mm. Crown, no. Oh, uh, but it had the little robot girl. She was a little robot. Small Wonder. Small Wonder. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> it was a, a family. Production just be over there like, what came out in like It was a family. <laughs> and, a, <laughs> and the dad was like a tech guy or something. And he made uh, like a little maid I guess you could say uh huh oh yeah Vicky. it was Vicky it was a little robot type of thing but like she she looked human and so they like oh, they was paying us the sex box a long time ago oh, God. That's they was up. claiming her I guess like as a little sister but she was kind of like the little maid or something. something like that if I remember um you made a child who was a maid y'all didn't question this <laughs> they made a robot that was a maid. You made a robot just child. Like a kid. You made a child because you could have made anything in the world. But you made a but child. But you made a child. Yeah, I remember that oh, one. Nobody questioned that. Who produced that? Where are they at? Where um, are they at now? That's, that's a little. Good times, of course. Yeah, good times. I mean, I feel like good times is like classic. But before that, like, I Dream of Genie. Yes. I watched I Dream of Genie from black and white to color, is what I'm trying to tell you. I was like, that's it. I didn't get I into like, it. Okay. Like, I've seen it, but I didn't really get into it. Like, I love Lucy. I ain't, I didn't get I into that a, either. So, I watched I Love Lucy. It was just a very specific style of comedy that I was like, it's the Three Stooges style of comedy. Mm-hmm. That I just, I, I, like that kid, I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like Three Stooges. But then when I got older and I learned more about Lucy and Desi, I was like, I'm going to go back and support not that it mattered at that point. Y'all was old and dead. It didn't matter. But jeez, if their, their story, have you ever, like, you know, their true love story? It's really cute. Mm-hmm. Like, they met. And so all of the jokes where, for me, it was also even early. I'd be like, this seems racist <laughs> or kind of weird. But they had, yeah. like, in the contract, um, the only thing, because they were married. And he knew that she meant no ill intent by it. It was just really, like, sometimes in a marriage, you're going to have them random ass, like, we are two different cultures. What the mm-hmm. fuck is you doing? Um, so in the contract, nobody could make those jokes except for her. Mm. And when I went back to like watch it, I was like, oh, you it know, really, nobody else yeah, it was only jokes. her being able to make those jokes. Um, because he was like, that is a normal dynamic. And if somebody is going to make it, it should be my wife. And I'm like, that's you. And she made sure like Lucy actually was the one who ran everything and had owned the production company. Oh, nice. and she was like one of the first women in Hollywood to actually like own, write, produce, and do all of that. Nice. Um, so when people were trying to step outside of that boundary, she'd be like, hey, no, but you're not going to disrespect my nigga. You're not going to disrespect. Not up in here. So I went back and was like, okay, I love these. Then they went through a little divorce. Aww. It was a big divorce. But that's when you got like the Lucille Ball show versus like I Love Lucy. Mm. Um, because I Love Lucy was like based off of Desi and his like stuff. But then she know the real history. I do. I be mean, yeah. investing. Yeah, clearly. But I mean, that's what I, I like a good like love story because then even after they got divorced, they were still like, I still love you. And so they got divorces. Who's the boy? Shamo and uh, allegedly Shamo and Ben Affleck. I didn't know they were that big. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we saw that coming. Child, the way that the, the way people are trying to take J Lo out. How does J Lo keep getting married? Why do people keep getting married? Because she believes in love and no, you marriage. Don't. No, you know, you believe in certificates. You need to enroll in school. Okay, <laughs> go and enroll your ass in somebody's classroom. Because what you <laughs> believe in is a certificate. That's what you want. J Lo is the amount of time that she invested in that. Affleck, right? Yeah. Okay. It's She's the, double back on Batman. Batman. It. I'm gonna tell you what I knew. He was fed up. Okay. And every event, it's I don't know what clip this was, but they was walking to the car or something, and she got to like the guy, <laughs> and I guess he was like, huh, like he had to go open the door. Like so I gotta do this shit for you. And he was just in the the annoyance that was on his face. I was like, oh, being tired of you, he is being tired. Being tired of her since they got married. Why did you double know back on this crazy lady? You knew she was crazy in the first place. He was um, drunk. Oh, she was there. She was there before rehab. Yeah, because they were saying that he was going down this dark, really dark path that he was trying to stop them from depression. Oh. After he had 
Yeah. Oh, you use stuff for the come up. Yeah, I respect that. I'm not going to I don't respect people using people for the come up, but like J Lo just want to like be in the spotlight with marriage. Again, if you spent the amount of time invested in just random certifications, J Lo could be out here being a tech giant. She can have cybersecurity tech. Okay, she can have everything. Because why is she? You just want a marriage license? Do she frame it? You think she frame it? I think she got a room. Because she got a, like, a room for her wigs. It's like the size of the house. That makes so sense. So I feel like she got a room full of her... Um, I feel like all the them women... Her awards. I think all the girlies got a room for their wigs. Yeah, but J-Lo was like original. Like she had it back when MTV Cribs was around. Mm. That's why I know she got one. Then I think she got a room, like a room for her awards. And I think the marriage certificates is her awards. Because, ooh, we see. Um, <laughs> because obviously marriage certificates are an award for her. And she'd be like, I want a participation trophy. Ma'am. That's what they are. Why are you married so many times? It didn't work out. You didn't work out. You're crazy. You ain't never fallen in love with that many people. Get out of here. She was only married. How many times was she married? There's two dancers. She married two dancers? Or a dancer and a drummer. You lying to me. No, I promise. And then Mark Anthony. And then it was I somebody else. I Mark else. Anthony. J-Lo. And this more than four, she crazy. J-Lo. Mm-hmm. I ain't there yet. Relax. Relax. She got, what they have? Orange, orange drink. Orange Shut up. <laughs> Dude, the people been searching. That's how you know you crazy. The internet tried to search to validate you. How many times? Four. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it was Ojani. Okay. That was 97. Divorced in 98. It was Chris Judd. That's the dance dude. Mm-hmm. 01 to 03. Don't dance with my sexy dance. I mean, was that what you mean? Mark Anthony mm-hmm. from 04 to 14 and being Ann Flat. But they was previously engaged before Mark they Anthony, previous, right? She's been, okay, so she's been married for a time and I think engaged like at least five or six. So she was engaged to being Ann Flat and then she was engaged to somebody else, I feel like. Mm. Why do you want that many weddings? And nobody even, that was going to be very dark. Mm. Why you want that, oh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the thing. I'm going to say the thing. Why you want that many weddings and nobody even died till that girl's part? If nobody died, mm. you just got to get married. Is it their hearts? Their hearts died, and that's what you equated? Is that what that means in that line? Death do us heart, and it's the heart. Mm. That's sad. I ain't got it. What are you mm. <laughs> What are you reading here that you're <laughs> reading? I'm just reading all the relationships and the engagements and the non-engagements and the puffy boyfriend relationships. And, yeah, you know. I feel like. <laughs> Not nope. No. You gonna keep that to yourself. <laughs> That's what they can't <laughs> me. Just gonna keep that part to myself. I'm gonna say the thing. It's the it's the month of saying the thing. I feel like Erica Badu is the black J Lo. Except for she'll marry him. She just had baby design. I was about to say, where else we going with this? With the, the I'm getting a shot. Oh, we're getting the shot. That's what I said when I said. Okay. Okay. Last shot. For me. I really picked this up with my left hand, right? As I'm a righty. Oh, it's weird. And I was like, I'm not going to drink this like this. Yeah, Did this you ever play the game? What like, it was a drinking back in, back in our younger years. Where it used to be like, you can only take shots out your left hand, but you can drink your cup out your right. And if you get caught, like, the other way, you just have to take y'all just be inventing Oh, absolutely. Because we, shits. listen. Because so I say that, meaning, like, my, my friend went to U of I, so. Oh, the 100% Yeah, they, they, they was just making every drinking game. What are you talking about? But I, the, the fact that I did it, because I'm like, why does this feel odd, but not odd, but odd? Because I picked it up and said, I'm not going to be able this. Do you see the handshake? Maybe it's going to spill. It'd be the lightest of things. I'm like, my poor little weekend. I immediately was going like this. I, after dark, this hand is dominant only in very specific situations, Ma'am. and this is not one of them. Just telling, just telling, just saying. Okay. Okay. Let's have an educational moment with the Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up. Guess <laughs> what? What are we talking? What am I educating people? About? Drake and all his oh, gifts. Oh, we learned. Okay. She I'm learned. Ready. I listened. I'm but... ready. Wait, hold on. <laughs> so I can give credit. I got to give credit where credit is due to said people. Mm-hmm. Because we figured out where all the drama was coming from. Y'all remember? Okay, last week, 
And through all of this fucking drama, nobody knows where stuff started from. I don't... Why? Why? <laughs> she be looking for moments to throw this show, kid, she, y'all. Kawhi Leonard is my favorite athlete just because of that. I promise y'all, I'll... And listen... I'm a simple girl. It's all y'all need to know is I'm a simple goddamn girl. Okay. Um, Kawhi. Kawhi. I'm trying to find the dude's name who uh, ran through. Whatever. I'll, I'll find it in a tag. Okay. So a guy on the Instagrams, mm-hmm. probably the Tiggly Talks. Um, Thank you. Freaks don't say nothing. Um, he went through like all the beef and drama. So now I know. Okay. Why everybody hates Drake. And it's not just because he's a fuck nigga, but it's very much just because he's a fuck nigga like the rest of us thought. I just don't. He's been telling us for a long time. So. I don't keep up. Okay. So here's where it starts. So first, it was the weekend. Everybody knows the weekend and Drake have this long standing beef. Apparently, some people know why, some people do not, because you came in as like a fan to weekend at different periods. If you're a fan of weekend from early when he was like up and coming, you know that the weekend was like up and coming artist making his ooh yay he's gonna be him okay and then Drake was like yeah you want to come sign the OVO I got questions when we let's rewind what's up we talking about cash money young money beginning early we were talking about the weekend no I'm talking about Drake though during that era of Drake but you realize okay so let's backtrack there so I don't think people realize how early in his career. Drake was able to start signing artists. Like, Drake very early in his career set up to have his own subsidiary um, label label mm-hmm. to be able to sign. Like, it was always Young Money, Cash Money. And then, like, once he literally probably first album that he moved from, like, Mixtape Drake to I'm Actually Dropping an Album, he was starting OVO. Okay. So, very early on, he was like, I'm going to recruit. This also is part of why people, like, do the ghostwriting. So, that's part of why people beef with him is, is all the ghostwriting rumors because a lot of people say that he started it to be able to steal other people's music. We'll get to that. Okay? So, Drake is out here like, yeah, he getting, we know when Drake dropped his first music with Mixtape Drake. We love Mixtape Drizzy. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, then he was like, oh, I see the weekend up and coming. Yo, bro, come on over to OVO. You can do Come on over to Death Row. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot. Death Row was actually a great lady. I bet y'all motherfuckers wish I was on Death Row and not bad boy. I bet that. <laughs> Why y'all want to talk shit and run your mouth? Okay, bet you that. I forgot, my bad. Bet, bet you you risked your uh, CEO was shooting niggas for you and not shooting you. Okay, but I digress. Allegedly. 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 I digress. Anywho. Okay, anywho. So, uh, Weekend was like, nah. I don't, I don't want to sign with you. It's cool. I'm still getting out there. I want to fill out some other offers. He's like, cool. You want to write? You can come get on with the morning writing team. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like writing. Pin game crazy. He was like, cool. So he wrote a couple hits. And he was like, all right, cool. And then Drake was like, you sure you don't want to sign? He was like, nah, it's cool. And he was like, you want to write some more? He was like, yeah, that shit fine. <laughs> okay, writing. And then they building this great friendship and great business relationship. And then Drake was like, I'm going to fuck your bitch. And we can all say, yo, my nigga. You don't know? This shorty. All right. Broke bro, bro, right? So now him in the weekend beefing indefinitely. Never coming back from that shit, okay? Cool, right? So then we go, boop, 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 boop. We fast forward, right? They like, why is he bushing with ASAP Rocky, right? We would assume it's just because of Rihanna. And it is. Okay, so ASAP Rocky. Drake had like, so both, double sign. Drake took ASAP Rocky on his first like tour tour, like where you're gonna be able like list it as a headliner, you're mm-hmm. doing arenas. Mm-hmm. Um when ASAP first like there was ASAP group and then it was like we're all mm-hmm. gonna go solo. So on his first like I'm really trying to venture solo, Drake was like, Come on tour with me. You're headlining, you're getting arenas. Cool, great. He also did the same thing with Kendrick. We'll get to that. So it can't with ASAP, okay, cool, we cool, no bad love, that's great. You trying to put people on, that's lovely. And Drake was like not Rihanna bad at her eye at you. We cool. We just friends, right? Now he mad. Like, why she bad at her eye at you? I don't know. My nigga, we just be chit-chatting. This one is just your girl. No, it ain't my girl. I'm just saying. Like, what's to it? I mean, nothing. Really? Like, we, 
Then he started low key throwing shots. And then, like, a couple years later, years later, literally, Ace having Ronnie get together. That's a beautiful couple. I want to watch. That's amazing. That looks great for them. Okay, and Drake was mad. So he started throwing shots like, choo, 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 choo. Don't, don't throw shots where you can, can't compete in no level. Like, financially, look wise. Drake Drake was crazy. He got on that stage and tried to low key kind of like kiss Rihanna or whatever. Rihanna said, Because what? Fucked up. Okay, bitch. This will not be a Holly Berry moment. We is not going to do that. Okay, so that's why him and ASAP beefing, right? Then you got Rick Ross for the life of us. Why is Rick Ross and Drake beefing? They don't even sound like the same category of people that should beef with each other. Crazy. It's literally because, like, at some random song and some random show, like, Drake took offense where offense didn't need to be taken. Like, Rick Ross literally didn't mention him by name, didn't mention nothing that had to do with him, was not talking about you at all. Clarified he ain't talking about nothing to do with you. And he was like, nah, I'm mad. Because you're the one you mad. So then Drake invited Rick Ross' ex-girlfriend to a show. Like, personally invited her to a show and then was taking pictures. And was like, yeah, see, your exes can never. Okay. And again, we're dealing with men and their egos. Mm-hmm. you dealing with people and their egos. Slap me down. Because I'm like, bitch, you ain't know that was mine? <laughs> Don't care. We're not together, bitch. You didn't. Run it up. So then, okay, that's how him and Rick Ross start beefing. Now we got to push a T in Drake, which he lost. Okay. Where did this come from? Anybody's going to lose this <laughs> Because Pusha T is like, I'm not thinking of you. Yeah. Okay, so their beef apparently comes from the fact that Pusha T was beefing with Birdman. Because Birdman did not pay Pharrell for a beat. And Pharrell and Pusha T, obviously because of the clips, they got his. So he like, hey, yo, pay my mans. Birdman is now beefing with Pusha T. Because of that, Wayne decided, you know, like, you got to side with the with fam my, with that you the, also beefing with now. Right. But this is back in the day. Yeah. So, like, now I'm beefing with Pusha T. And not beefing, like, for real, just, like, Wayne is kind of like, I got to keep a distance from you. And Drake decided to insert himself into the beef. you just beefing just because you want to at this mm-hmm. point. You're bringing it on yourself. Okay. Then he started beefing with Common because Drake took out Serena and Common and Serena used to date. And so he decided to throw shots at Common because you took out his ex. They And they were, like, Common and Serena were exes at the time. Mm-hmm. And you just decided to throw shots at Common. Because you took out his ex. And then, um, I think John Morant and Drake had dated the same video girl or something. And so you start beefing with him too. And then, oh, then there was a beef with Drake and Kanye. Because, um, it was like Kanye, Kit Cudi, and Drake or whatever. And then when the Pusher T beef happened, Pusher T was signed to Kanye. So, of course, Kanye is going to be like, I don't know when the team, baby. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but didn't publicly say anything. Just realistic, mm-hmm. like, Pusha is my man. So, I mean, so Drake got mad at Kanye and then, like, started trying to party with Kim Kardashian. Bro, you weird. Yes. You're uh, weird. Like, your version of I'm beefing with the dude is like, let me go, like, hug up on your girl. You're weird. Don't do things like that. So, this is where all the beefs come from. Is literally, and then, like, oh, him and, if Young Metro don't touch you, I'm like, shoot you. Wow. Okay, so him and Metro are beefing because that's also a long-standing beef. Not as long as weekends, but long-standing because Metro was like, y'all, this nigga is moving weird and nobody is paying attention to he's moving weird. Like, pay attention. Pay attention. Like, Metro was like, pay attention very early. And so there was like one album where like Metro dropped the album or was like a lot of his beats and then uh, Drake could drop the album and Drake wasn't getting no plays. And I remember this album because I remember like, why you dropped this? And then Metro was like actually getting like, every time like platinum selling this kind of stuff. And Drake still ended up getting awards, and then Metro didn't. And he was like, I feel like this is very much like whitewashing, but y'all don't want to acknowledge that because you can't necessarily tell somebody that, like, it's appropriating because technically you're black. Like, not in a technically bad way, but, like, you're you're black. Mm-hmm. But, like, appropriating because, like, everybody be like, J. Cole is, like, mixed. But we don't care that J. Cole is mixed. Like, you put on. Everybody be like, Lil Yachty grew up in the, like, suburbs. We don't care because, like, you still put on. And then Drake, we be like, you put on sometimes. You like us sometimes. So that's what the beef is. And Metro was like, I'm never going to forgive this shit because this nigga is weird and y'all acting like he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And he's not. And so that's how we got BBL Trizzy. BBL Trizzy. And then like Future and Metro obviously do a lot of music together. Mm -hmm. So when it came time for like beef, Future was like, I mean, I understand what Metro talk about because to me it kind of weird. So like, I'm not beefing with you per se, but I'm going to let Kendrick get on this track and pop his shit. Right? And so, 
Yeah, so that's how Metro and Drake started beefing. And then Kendrick and Drake started beefing. So much. What is he? He ain't got nobody to work with. Nobody no likes you. Kendrick and Drake started beefing because, again, Drake took, like, when Kendrick did his first, like, world tour, it was with Drake. They had songs together, Drake. And it was like, you're moving weird. And then Kendrick, many, 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 many years ago, had did a song where, like, it was like a how, remember the song Nicki Minaj did? And it was like a kind of like, if I did it song where it was like I would have fucked this person I oh, yeah, yeah. so Drake did a song like that with like rap beefing and it was like you know if I'm gonna beef with somebody it's gonna be these people and essentially like if you got listed in that song he respected you as an artist like he was like I'm not gonna fuck all these lame niggas and I'm coming for the throne this who I'm looking at and like I don't care about the hottest people who were in the game like it's friendly beef like friendly beef come, come spit your shit on the track Drake took it so personal. Like, was the only one who took it so personal. Like, everybody else was like, I got bars. Don't worry about it. And Drake was like, oh, my God. He doesn't like me. <laughs> and so then he made, like, a song and was like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're beefing now. And Kendrick made a song and was like, sorry, you big man. Stupid. And then, like, <laughs> word of the day. Stupid. <laughs> and then this was how. So this is literally how to be started. And then, I guess, in the industry, it progressed. Of you still doing these shady, like, underhanded things. And then Kendrick was like, enough is enough. We hate you. We fucking hate you, nigga. You, if you're going to have the whole rap community, not like, who are you going to, who, who are you working with? So, in conclusion, I'll, like, put the, again, the name of the person who broke down the beef. And I very much so thank you, sir, because I was lost in confusion. Oh, I was, I lost mean, in confusion. Especially because I don't mean rap like that. I'm I tried like, to keep up, and I said, I'm lost. I don't know where none of this is coming from. But he was like, one of the, what happened is... A lot of people was, like, ignoring it because Drake was, like, putting out the music mm-hmm. and then you, you weren't doing it. So now people are, like, paying more attention, but you still, like, on Instagram trying to throw shots at people. So, like, you can't be, you can't throw shots and then still be trash. Like, you out here beefy, yeah, you, Oh, and then they talked about that, too, like, him and Meg. It's like you always, it's, Drake was beefing because you inserting yourself in beef and because you won't leave people women alone. I just feel like both of those is just taboos. And this is how we know you ain't grow up around, like, a lot of black people because that's just taboos in our neighborhood. Do not insert yourself where you do not belong and do not, okay, be messing with other people's people. That part. All of that was wrong. Well, there you go. If you was lost, I'm sure you, I hope you're not lost anymore. You might be a little more lost because it's <laughs> Just know that he was taking, he was fucking people girls and he was being, throwing shots and being petty and inserting himself in bullshit for absolutely no reason. No reason. I think that sums up. Yeah. Sure you know. It was a good sum up. Thank you. I did my best. I was very excited. Okay. Your drink that I'm done with. What's your rating? <laughs> the drink that you're done with. I'm going to give this a... Oh, I lied. We can talk about something very important. Bridgerton. A dub. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Y'all did not need to break this up into two parts. Bridgerton baddies, though. Let's talk about it. The first half wasn't terrible but it wasn't as good to have you break this into two parts for me to be like oh my god like you dropped all of this you could have just dropped all of this and called it a day you could have waited till june and gave me all of this or at least a week apart you gave me a month apart it was unnecessary who's your who's your your hate list for bridgerton i don't hate nobody i do wait i hate penelope brown why you hate penelope it's just like don't throw people under the bus. I do think she... I never have forgiven her. I have never forgiven her. I'm never going to forgive her. I don't care how her story ends or begins. You ain't did enough of an apology run. I do think... Don't throw people under the bus. That's wrong. That she should not write while she's in her feelings. I think you should write in your diary. Penelope was at a but not the fingers. Like not the the article part. Like why well, she don't have if a you diary. need to get it out, you should get it out over here, and then get your thoughts together and write Edit over here. Diary. Yeah, Edit like, your diary. Yeah, like over here. Okay, I can take this piece. This this bars. We that said, that I, I don't will know. Agree we spoiler with. alert. Penelope is like what's now? Nah. And now if you don't know that, <laughs> that's why I said no. Nah, okay, yeah, here we go. But it's that she doesn't have a diary. Not you. Spoiler alert, I'm not you reading people diaries. And you don't even have one. It's, it's so eloquently written. Bitch, you is not the only one with a pen game. I find checks. And I write words, okay? I don't know. I sign checks and I, I write checks words. And I write words. Put on a shirt. Also, 
Yes. But yeah, that's why I don't like her. Because you just be out here. I mean, I guess she would be a good blogger today. She would. She would. I would hate her. She bought the Jasmine brand or something like that. That's weird. Yeah. That's weird. We're going to have to revisit like all our blogs that went away because they go well, therapy. What went away? Like there was like some real like, uh, what's the Gossip Girl column? Please clear. I don't remember. I got to go think. I didn't. Anyway. I didn't genuinely read any of them, so I couldn't. Some of them I used. To. Anywho, but yeah. So uh, Bridget saying, I don't like Penelope because she just now you fake to me. Penelope is fake at this point. I don't dislike Penelope. I'm just like, girl, got your feelings. You ain't had to do that. Now look where you are. You betrayed your best friend to save her best friend. No. Yes. Saving your best friend would have been like it's me. Well, she couldn't let her idea. Saving your best friend would have been throwing somebody else random That's under true. the bus. That's true. I'll give you that for I'm real. I'm going to the ops. Could have said it was Chris, Chris, whatever. Chris, the person that your best friend now got to go be best friends with because and people, people would have believed it. Yeah, because of how she is. People would have believed but it. But the nerve of Cressida coming at Penelope for being out for three years, bitch, haven't you been out for three? You ain't married. Yeah, but people like me. People don't like her. That's fair. Uh, no, no. She's more desirable because she don't wear the. She's not married. How he's, desirable he's, is she? She's on the all, same play. Like auntie talking to me on the phone yesterday. <laughs> She's on the same playing field as Let Penelope. The Charlie. same man that you wanted wanted Penelope. So how do like, let's talk? He let's just talk. want something with a post. He does not want something with a post. I mean, yes, but no. I was like, that man wants something with a post. Who gonna leave him alone about traveling for a year? <laughs> And not be like, let me have some babies immediately. Oh, That's all he want. Oh, and, and Francesca. Is it Francesca? Francesca. Okay, mm-hmm. let me make that up. Other Bridgerton. Mm. Mm-hmm. Francesca. Francesca likes a weird man, and I'm on her team. She like, I just want a man who can be quiet. Shut up. <laughs> why are you talking to me be for? Quiet. Bitch, shut up. Like, why are you talking we to me We're going to have all our communications in silence. In piano. In piano. We're going to have all nah, our when that man, in the key of music. When that man left, because she was like, oh, this song, and I need it to be slowed down, I need it to be, and that man said, hold my, hold he my. He didn't say, say less. He said, hold on. <laughs> BRB. Came back. Here you go. That girl on the piano. Do you know what he did? <laughs> it was the mom being like, I get it. All right. The mom is like, this. she's smitten, obviously. <laughs> this is it. This obviously, is the one. Obviously, this is the one. I'll be looking forward to the second half of Bridgerton now that they just made us wait any goddamn way. I mean, yes, just because I want to see shit blow up. I, can we get another season? I don't know how this works, but like Queen Charlotte. Bring back Queen Charlotte. Because that was a really good series. The man said, leave. I will not. I will not. First of all, Bridgerton bars no. across the board. Wait, did you see this clip where the Bridgerton characters was saying their lines but in an American accent? And don't do that. It's and not, the not best one was Kate, though. Like, Kate uh, was able to, like, switch her accent up, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Eloise was like, it don't hit the same. I'm it's like, it does not. not. It does not hit the same. But, but because they were not doing Southern American accents. They was picking their American accent. But I'm saying, if you do Southern American accent, it might be the same. It's very so random things that I do on the um, TikTok. Mm-hmm. There's a thread of people reading Shakespeare in American Southern accents because they're like, if you historically think about it, American Southern accents are what the majority of Shakespearean plays would have been in because. British now is like very specific accents, but like you got to remember when people like migrated to the mm-hmm. U.S., that was like your traditional accent. So a mm-hmm. lot of Southern accents are like original European accents and colonies, right? Mm-hmm. So people have been reading Shakespeare, <laughs> and when I say I like Shakespeare because bars, you know, what yes, I mean? bars, spit your game, talk your shit, right? But then they were like spitting it, and like so imagine a New Orleans member. Okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. A Louisiana man saying some Shakespeare to you, baby. Uh, I'm making the games every day. If you want to gumbo? You should ask him. He would easily. I'm asking you. Okay. You don't have a New Orleans accent. I don't need it. There are two things missing from your request. One of them you don't have by nature. <laughs> Plenty of those 
picture, <laughs> one you can fake. I'm telling you to pick which one you want to be bothered with. That's all I'm saying to you there. I don't know. Chow. So you you asked me what I was ranking this drink. Yes, what are we ranking? And I'm saying a five. What about yourself? What say you? Guess that's a five. No, it's very much a five. This drink was good. Mm-hmm. This was really, really, really good. I'm probably going to have another one. It's very refreshing. Very refreshing. Very, I'm a little tipsy. Do, 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 do. But yeah, nothing to do with this drink. They probably got to do all them damn shots. No. And no. a Simply and the drink. My Simply is like 75% full. Okay. But the shots ain't never hurt nobody. But no, this is very much a five. Shout out to Lecture Drive. Shout out to Duckship for the name. That was all you. Mm-hmm. Um, you got anything else? No. All right. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, drop your topics and drink suggestions. And follow us on cool. all of our socials down mm-hmm. here. And um, until next time. Doses! Bye.